Welcome to Holy Spirit Tuesday. Good morning, everyone. Today's word is on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in the Bible known to be the third person of the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He is personal and fully God, co-equal and co-eternal with God. God often speaks to us by the inner witness of the Holy Spirit to our spirit. In Romans 8, 14 and 16, through 16, For those who are led by the Spirit of God, the Spirit you received does not make you slaves, so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by Him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Oftentimes we find ourselves in despair and many times we do not believe God hears us in our prayers. But know that when you accept the Lord Jesus in your heart, that the Spirit remains in you to guide you and direct you in your walk with God. John 6:63 6, reminds us that the Spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very words I have spoken to you are, our spirit and life, the spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit also gives us gifts called the gifts of the Spirit. In 1 Corinthians 12, 8-11, a spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. To one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, the same Spirit gives a message of special knowledge. The same Spirit gives great faith to another, and to someone else the same Spirit gives the gift of healing. He gives one person the power to perform miracles, and another the ability to prophesy. He gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the Spirit of God or from another spirit. Still another person is given the ability to speak in unknown languages while another is given the ability to interpret what is being said. It is the one and only Spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person should have. The Holy Spirit teaches us to be obedient to God and His Word. He guides us in the truth and gives us knowledge to overcome the devices of the worldly sin. Always remember that God is always with you, and no matter what life gives us or what circumstances you are in, He is faithful and just. I hope this word has given you encouragement. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for, the day, for this day. Thank you for the many gifts and blessings you give us, for being the light of this world. Bless all who seek you and give them peace of mind. Watch over us, be with us who have lost loved ones, and bring them peace. Send your angels to protect our families, church family, co-workers, and friends. Let this word be a blessing to all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.